it's time for our annual visit to Canadian Tire to see all of the Christmas displays. On our drive-in, we listen to Christmas music. Andrew was so excited, and I am very happy to see some themed trees on display. So this one is the night before Christmas, and I love the little mice with their little nightcaps on. They are so cute, and all of the different themed ornaments. Of course, they are on display a couple of aisles over, but it really is nice to get a little bit of inspiration on what you can do with a Christmas tree, and then this one was the silver theme. It always reminds me of that silver and gold by Burl Ives. It's one of my favorite Christmas songs and I'm peeking around and I can see a little bit of red and I definitely want to check that one out. And of course all of the Christmas lights. We got some new ones last year. We also got the snowman last year and that's part of the reason why we are here. We need some twist ties to kind of put everything back together properly and I couldn't wait to see this tree. I thought it was so pretty and I love these little mice. I think they are just so cute. And then all of the ornaments with all of the reindeer names on it and then Santa Claus and the candy cane garland and I love the little tree topper. I think it is so cute and a little gnome, some of my favorites and it's getting me excited for getting our trees out and start decorating especially we've accumulated a lot of ornaments over the years and we definitely do not need any new ones but it is always nice to look and this gold one is very beautiful. I saw this and if you want to do a How the Grinch Stole Christmas theme tree, you can pick this one up. And Canadian Tire is a little bit of everything. I think I have a couple of older videos. I'll link them down below if you want to check them out. It gives you a more tour of what is all available in the store. It's a lot more than just tires. But one of the trees that they used to do every year is a Canada tree. And it was nice to see they had a lot of the ornaments from year to year. And they're always adding new ones. And it's always nice to see what is available. And it looks like the curling one is very popular. And they even have the little mice in the Canada jerseys. And I just love seeing all of the different ornaments. And some of them are very special. of items to decorate with and I told my husband if there was anything with a beagle that it was coming home with us but I didn't see anything but we did see some Canadian geese and I don't think I've ever seen these on anybody's lawn because they are not the friendliest creatures but you can get a beaver and a raccoon and now we are over into some of the more themed ornaments some of them are a little bit pricey but I do love the silver and the gold and then they have all of the white and then you get into the more of the colorful ones that are more directed at children or sometimes people that have a specific you know job that would be a great little addition and this Santa was very beautiful but also a very pricey so I know a lot of people will be keeping an eye to see if he's still around after the holidays to pick him up for a much better price. these toys because there was kids in this all before us and this is usually Andrew's favorite. Um, he's gotten a few of these over the years and he's always loved hats but we didn't see any this year but nothing really new but I know like when our kids were little they used to have so many different displays. I remember our daughter there was a little music box that she just loved and 
Um, my husband decided to get it for her for Christmas one year, and they just don't have the same displays like they used to, but it's always nice to see what is available. And I'm just taking a little look to see if there's anything that would make a great gift for Christmas because I am always looking for ideas, and I know Legos are always very popular. nice to take a little look at all of the Christmas items. It was not as overwhelming as it was at HomeSense. This was just the perfect amount. And now we are home getting some things done. And the biggest thing that I am doing today is making a double batch of spaghetti sauce. So I have two pounds of ground beef browning with some onions and garlic. And now I'm just trying to get all of the vegetables chopped and added in here so I can get it simmering for most of the day. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way so I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down yeah I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't. I am loving this large Dutch oven. It's perfect for a double batch of spaghetti sauce. And now it's starting to come to a simmer. So I'm just stirring it all up. And then as the vegetables cook down, there'll be more liquid. But I just want to get it, you know, simmering for about an hour. And then I have all of my recycling. So I put a can of diced tomatoes, some Almer accents. I have another can. I wasn't too sure. Two cans of tomato sauce and then two cans of tomato paste. And then... I also have the seasoning, so I just use basil, oregano, and parsley, and I put some little bit of red pepper flakes in here. So I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour and go from there. And now here it is in the afternoon. We got everything done that we wanted to do. Um, we had a package of pumpkin spice cookies. And then when we were at Canadian Tire, um, my husband saw these Starbucks, the Nespresso pods, the holiday blend. So he said, let's pick them up. And I said, okay, so, I'm still haven't really switched anything over to Christmas yet, so I do need to keep an eye out for a place map because we are going to continue this throughout the holiday season. But right now we're having a little bit of pumpkin spice and a little bit of the holiday blend from Starbucks. So it's still November. We got to enjoy all of the seasons at once. Since it's Sunday, I thought I would share some of the process with you, like kind of trying to stay on top and be organized with everything. So um, they're calling for snow at the end of the month, so I'm starting to feel a little bit festive. So I just kind of had a strategy of everything that I kind of wanted to do. And then, you know, enjoying our time together and all of that. And then, you know, I'm going to start getting into, you know, what I want to share with all of you in the video. And I'm trying to like figure out the balance with everything. So I have a lot of like the little planning things, just checking in. I know last week I shared a little bit of a video where I was kind of feeling overwhelmed. I was behind in the laundry and now like it's a week later and I'm just staying on top of everything. So I want to update my freezer inventory. 
I did the baking list of all of the ingredients and everything that I need for Christmas. And then I just was updating kind of my freezer meals, seeing what I had too. Um, so chili, I did that last weekend. And the biggest thing was the sirloin roasts were on sale this week. So I picked some of them up, added them to my inventory, and I am down to one package of ground beef. And then I'm just taking a little look to see what I have and also what I am going to be needing for the next little while. I know I've shared this a lot, but this is what helps keep me on track with everything is just writing it down on paper. So I have some of the freezer meals. I have some of the meals that I've been wanting to make that I didn't. So I'm just transferring them to here and then some new ones that I want to make. And I also have some things that I want to clean out of the freezer because they have been in there for a little bit. And I'm also kind of making lists. I pretty much used everything from Costco today and there's some more things that I want to get. Little things, this is when I start adding them to my Walmart app. So that way whenever I do a pickup, everything is there and I need to keep an eye out for meat. So ground beef, stew beef, the skinless boneless chicken thighs, pork tenderloin and pork loin roast. So two weeks ago it was chicken breasts were on sale so I got them and then this past week it was sirloin roast so I need to keep an eye out for that. So I have my meal plan you know, the list of things that I need and we are good to go. So I just have a couple of more things to do. And I thought I'd share with you something I've been trying to figure out is how to kind of do a little bit of a weekly plan, but I don't have to stick to it. So I got this at Winners for $15 and I've been working on this for a couple of weeks and I feel like I'm getting a better strategy of how it's working for me. So I'll just share a couple of the days with all of you and I like the way that it's set up so that way I can focus on the beginning of the week and then the weekend so I'm going to work on that and then I also want to check my Christmas list because this is some of the things that I want to do. My goal was to get most of this stuff done by the 17th but it didn't happen and that's okay. Um, it's pretty much just the deeper cleaning and you know, some little things, but we are getting there. We got the lights and everything finally up. I need to get the greenery and then um, my husband will do all the batteries and the timers and all of that. So, and the gas for the snowblower, he'll get that too. But it looks like there's going to be snow at the end of the month. So I just need to put that reminder out. So the biggest thing is on Monday, I got to edit Hunter has to go to the vet and the little living room is kind of my focus. And then Tuesday, my video will be posted. So working on my daily five, deep clean our son's room. I'm looking for greenery for the front, so I gotta figure that out. I wanna go through the Pioneer Woman magazines, then find a placemat for that. So it's just little things. I'm gonna add more in here, but this is what I'm kind of sharing with all of you. And I feel like I know the things that have to get done those days, and then I kind of have a little you know, ongoing to-do list. And then that's when my, you know, kind of daily comes up, but I don't do this every day. And then I'm back to a daily five, but it has definitely changed over the years. And now it's laundry. What's for dinner? Some kind of movement, doing just a quick tidy to stay on top of everything. And then most importantly, doing some me time. So it could be having a nap. It could be, you know, watching a YouTube video, coloring, reading, something that is just kind of for me. So I feel like we're getting there and I just have a couple more things to do, fill in the calendar for the week so our son knows what's going on. And then I just take all of my little lists here, put them together. And then this was the old one that I used. So I just transferred some of that and I had to keep an eye out for sirloin roast. So I don't need to do that anymore. So I'll get rid of that. And then this is the new one. And then I just use a little clip with a magnet and it just goes on our fridge. And this is what works for me. So whenever I need to, you know, grab something or go somewhere, everything is on the fridge and I know exactly where it is. So the fridge is good. Everything is stocked up. We have an extra of everything. We got lots of yogurt, um, grapes, and just brought in some drinks from the garage to finish up. There was a lot of really great produce sales this week. So I got them. There's some leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Um, these cheese are on for $4 for the whole month of November at the Loblaws brand store. So I got these at No Frills. I got cheese slices last week. I have a lot of sweet potatoes. Um, bacon was on sale. So I got two packages of that. And then we also got our protein drinks all filled up here. Um, my husband has the Fairlife and he takes them to work with him. I use the Premier Protein and then we are enjoying some of the Canada Dry 
zero sugar, so the fridge is good to go for the week, and now it's time to focus a little bit on dinner. So I'm very happy with the way that the spaghetti sauce came together. And then I just have to add that last little ingredient, the Kraft Parmesan cheese. This is what my mom always put in her um, spaghetti sauce, and I didn't realize that was kind of the secret ingredient to give it that flavor that always tastes like my mom's spaghetti. So I'm going to get this added in and then give it a really good stir. Now it's my me time and I shared this with you in a previous video about enjoying coloring and I couldn't wait to get into the Christmas one so this was the one page that I colored and so many people have this coloring book and I've seen different videos so I have this jelly roll pen that I got at Michael's and then you just go over some of the little things with the white lines and it just makes it so different looking so I started this actually the like last weekend doing the chair, trying to do a plaid. It's not perfect, but there's so many different coloring techniques and I want to try to see what I can do. So anyways, that took a little bit of time and now it's time to finish this off and just really enjoy it. I have some Christmas music playing and now I'm just tuning everything out and enjoying a little bit of coloring. Mm -hmm. I enjoy this so much and it was four times the speed. You need a nice slow steady pace for the alcohol markers so there's no lines. And I wanted to do the cat, like our daughter's cat. So this was the picture she sent me. And I asked her if it was okay to share and she said yes. And I just thought it was so cute, her little pink collar. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over some of the little lines with the Jelly Roll pen. And I do find it just makes such a difference. And I made a little boo-boo on the logs here. I was trying to do something and it didn't turn out. But this book specifically, I'm trying to learn some of the different techniques that I've seen in other videos, but I'm anxious to try it, but I'm easing into it. But I do find this so relaxing and I'm just taking it slow. And there's so many other pictures to color. And I have another coloring book too that I really can't wait to get into. So if you wanna see more of these coloring, you know, little bits, comment down below so I know that you want to. We're doing a trial run of the duck lights. Um, Hubby did a great job and then he put like some kind of plug in that you can turn it on with your voice. And I love the way it looks. We did this last year. I was thinking about adding some like greenery to it, but I just don't know. But Frosty is there and whenever he was bringing Frosty up from the shed, I was going like free, Frosty, free. Frosty like Christmas with the cranks and then like the head and the bow was falling off and then we had to get the zip ties. So it all came together and it was beautiful. I loved it. And it was nice to surprise um, Andrew with it for dinner. So the spaghetti sauce came together. It smells amazing. I have the water on. I'm weighing out the pasta. We're still doing two ounces of pasta per serving. So I'm doing eight ounces. So there's some left for our son for dinner tomorrow night. And then I saw that I had a winter candle from last year that wasn't fully burned. So I cut the wicks down and I'm lighting it up and the house is going to smell like winter and I'm excited about that. But the spaghetti sauce it was exactly what I wanted. This container is for our daughter. Whenever she comes home, I love to send something home with her. These two are for the freezer for nights I don't need to cook. And then this is a smaller container for our son. So that way when we're having something that he doesn't like, I have him covered for dinner. Everything is cleaned up. The Dutch oven, I just spray it with the Dawn Power Wash. And then in the morning, I just use my scrub daddy and it comes clean very easy. So anyways, I am going to get these all covered up and add them to my freezer inventory. I know everybody has their trees up and so many people have decorated, but we're just easing into it. I feel like this is what we do every year. 
and it's starting to get exciting now, especially that there's snow in the forecast at the end of the month. So hopefully everything will come together and it'll feel a little bit more like winter and Christmassy when we go to decorate. But it is nice to be organized and do all of the little things to enjoy those big things that we enjoy later this season.